Hi, in this video of less, we are going to discuss about the nested rules. As in the beginning, we discussed that uh, the less code can go nested. That means you can pass the styles inside another style. So that's what we are going to do here. And anytime when I want to use the parent element, as we have discussed about parent selector, you can go for the ampersand symbol. So let's see a practical implementation where I will go nested in order to make these nested rules. So for implementing the nested rules, the first thing which I'm going to put here is the ID selector. Like actually I'm going to create the navigation panel here. So for that I'll put the ID selector like we used to put that in CSS. Similarly, I'll put the same with the less as well. So let's consider like the background color which I want to put for my navigation panel is uh, let's say light gray. All right, light blue, whatever you can put as per your choice. All right, I am choosing light gray here. And obviously when you are putting navigation panel, you will be putting a number of anchor tags inside. So what you will do, you will just say a colon link like we do in CSS. And similarly, if you want, you can do it with the uh, visited links as well. All right. And then inside, you will be putting these styles. So whatever styles you will put inside this uh, for these anchor tags, whether it's for the link or for the visited ones, it will only be applicable for the anchor tags which are inside this nav. All right. As you can see the nesting. So it is quite logical. You can see it that this anchor tag is only applicable for the links which exist inside this nav. All right. So let's say here I'll put the font color. Let's say white. All right. Or maybe any color you want, right? It's right light. So, okay. So let's keep it black. The default one. All right. Display block. And let's say padding 10 pixel. All right. So these are the things which we have put here inside. Now, similarly, when you will put the mouse over that, so anchor hover, you can put another styles. All right. Let's say I'll make color to white. All right. And background color to dark gray let's say all right so these are the things which i have defined inside it so you can see that's looking quite logical and it doesn't take much line of code as well so just for this navigation this is the specific property and apart from that for this navigation only we have put the different styles for the different links at the different time all right so let's compile that all right and let's say yes to all come here and now you see how much code this dad generate so nav the nav link visited color and obviously this one for a programmer this one is easy to understand as well all right so let's come here in this index and uh, what we will do we will simply say div id is equal to nav all right inside this we'll put the anchor tags several anchor tags let's href is equal to let's put hash home so here we'll say about us contact us career and so on all right so let's save this and execute so you see this is how your links are looking like all right now if i will put the links outside of this div that is outside of this nav let's put one here let's say in another div i'll put anchor href is equal to this testing so you can see this one is looking in the default way all right while these are some 
different in the appearance all right so this is about the nested rules which will be applicable for this particular div as while defining this list i have done the nesting all right so these styles will be applicable for all the anchor tags inside this nav